Okay, let's look at one more example of setup time, batch size, and capacity. Full load decides to set up a small production facility in Sydney to sell to local restaurants that want to offer the ladle on their dessert menu. To start simple, he would offer only three flavors of the ladle Bragola, Chocolato, and Basil. After a short time, he found his demand and set up times to be as follows. Uno first produces a batch of Fragola, then a batch of Chocolato, then a batch of Basil, and then he repeats that sequence. For example, after producing Basil and before producing Fragola, he needs 45 minutes to set up the ice cream machine. And he needs only 10 minutes to switch from Chocolato to Basil. When running, his ice cream machine produces at the rate of 50 kg per hour no matter which flavor it is producing. And of course, it can produce only one flavor at a time. Three questions. A. Suppose Bruno wants to minimize the amount of each flavor produced at one time while still satisfying the demand for each of the flavor. He can choose a different quantity for each flavor. If we define a batch to be the quantity produced in a single round of each flavor, how many kilograms should he produce in each batch? B. Given the answer in part A, how many kilograms of fragola should be made with each batch? And C. Given your answer in part A, what is the maximum inventory of chocolate? Assume that production and demand occur at constant rates. Okay, let's take a look at my Excel spreadsheet. And first of all, the table that contains the information, and we know the demand rate is 10 kilograms per hour for Fragola, 15 kg for Chocolato, and 5 kg per hour for Basil. And in row number 3, I convert demand into percentage. That is to say, Fragola accounts for one third of the total demand and Chocolato accounts for 50% of the total demand, and so on and so forth. And the setup time we know is in number of hours. Three quarters of an hour after producing Fragola, half an hour after producing Chocolato, and uh, one sixth of an hour or 10 minutes after producing Basil. In this case, production cycle looks like this. First, making fragola and then set up of 45 minutes. Next, producing chocolate, then 30 minutes of setup. And then, producing basil. And lastly, 10 minutes of setup time. So, the total setup time per production cycle is 45 plus 30 plus 10, which is 85 minutes. Capacity when running is 50 kilograms per hour, and we can convert that into unit processing time. In this case, processing time per kilogram, regardless of the flavor. It is equal to 60 divided by 50, or 1.2 minutes per kilogram. Now we're ready to answer each of those three questions. Question A, what would be the desired batch size, assuming that Bruno want to make sure the demand is satisfied? First of all, let's look at the flow rate. In this case, that would be the demand rate. Note that there are three flavors, so the total demand rate will be equal to 10 plus 15 plus 5. The 
demand is 30 kilograms per hour, out of which 10 is for Fragola, 15 for Chocolatio, and 5 for Basil. Once we know the flow rate, we can use our formula to compute the desired batch size. It's going to be equal to flow rate times setup time. Well, in this case, we're going to use number of hours, so it's going to be equal to sum of those three numbers. And then divided by 1 minus flow rate times the processing time. Be careful, here the processing time is in minute and we want to convert that into hours return the answer is 106.25 kilograms per batch question b how many kilograms of regola in one batch and this is very easy we know that in one batch in total we're going to have 106.25 kilograms of ice cream and Fragola accounts for one third of it. As a result, in one batch there will be 35.4 kilograms of Fragola. Question C is a uh, tricky one. What would be the maximum inventory of Chocolato? Let me hide a couple of rows so that we can see the entire question C. Alright, to find the answer to question C, we are going to follow the following steps. Step 1. What would be the Chocolato accumulation rate? We call that ice cream will be made at a constant rate of 50 kilograms per hour and the demand rate for chocolate is 15 kilograms per hour. The difference is the chocolate accumulation rate 35 kilograms per hour. And secondly Let's figure out how many kilograms of chocolate in one batch. It's going to be equal to the batch size 106.25 times 50% because chocolate accounts for 50% of the total demand. So in one batch, we have 53.125 kilograms of chocolate. Next. How long does it take to make this much chocolate? Well, we know that regardless of the flavor, the production capacity is 50 kilograms per hour, and we want to produce 53 kgs of chocolate. So it takes 53 divided by 50. 1.0625 hours. By the end of the production run of chocolate, how much inventory of chocolate we have? It's going to be equal to accumulation rate of 35 kilograms per hour times 1.06 hours. So the maximum inventory of chocolate will be 37.1875 kilograms.